Hello world, Monte Coleman, IS Coaching. I wanted to do a quick follow-up to my 60 seconds of knowledge on Keep It Professional. And with some pointers as how to actually physically do that. So, running through those points quickly, this will be a little more than 60 seconds, but I'll be brief as possible. First, when trying to maintain professionalism in a hostile environment or with an irate customer, or even with an irate coworker or subordinate, I recommend taking a breath. Composing yourself before you respond. It is the first and the most important tool you can use because... And taking that breath also gives you a second to think about how you wish to respond to a situation. Next, next, listen through the storm. Even though the person may be promo- pro- approaching you, excuse me, in an unprofessional fashion and calling you maybe things that aren't appropriate, if need be, what I encourage is listening through the storm meaning that Hear the facts of what they're saying, the needs that they need to have fulfilled, and the gripes they're trying to put forth while filtering out the rest of the stuff. Also, you can simply redirect. Simply say to the person, I really want to help. I really want to bring the situation to a viable conclusion. But right now, the way it's being approached is not helping you nor me. So if we can approach it a little different, it'd be more beneficial for us. Meaning, redirect the energy. Never tell the person to calm down or get into what they should have done. Just let them know that moving forward, you want to try to reshape the conversation so it can be more productive. Or you can also weather the storm. Simply sit back. And let the situation transpire and don't respond at all. Don't say anything, don't do anything, and kind of let it burn itself out. Another one is, take a second. If it's an email that has you irate, step away from the computer. If it's a phone call that's getting a little out of pocket, just say, can I call you back? If it's a meeting, ask to be excused to go to the bathroom and take a second. If it's a conversation, ask, can we put this in the parking lot or revisit this, at a, revisit this at a better time? So feel free to take a second. Uh, last we'll have, it's not about you. That's something you can you apply throughout all the other tools you have, I have given in this video. Tell yourself, it's not about me. It's about my role. If I'm in a professional environment, and and hopefully this conversation is about something that happened in a professional environment, it's about that. So if I'm a supervisor, it's not about Monte. It's about Monte the supervisor. If you're a staff, it's not about Bob or Susie. It's about Bob or Susie, the staff member. So it's about my work or my professional position but it's not about me so i don't need to take it personal you're not mad at me you're mad at the role so these are some of the tools that you can use and briefly to keep professional take a breath listen through the storm redirect them weather the storm take a second just remember it's not about you monte coma is coaching we're open for coaching on professionalism stress management conflict resolution We focus on business coaching and professionalism coaching, but we also deal in the personal realm. So feel free if you have any area in life you want to improve yourself. Getting a coach is is like anything else. It's a step up and a step towards your goals. Monte Coma IES Coaching, please reach out. Thank you.